YouTube. We're back again today for another Thoughts from the Corner. I'm here with my good friend Lucy. Hey. And we are going to be talking about the new Cooking Customers from Good Enough Games. This is for two to five players, ages 14 plus. <laughs> That's an unfortunate name. Slow down. <laughs> this will take about 20 to 40 minutes to play. We got a chance to play this tonight. We played it at the four player count. And um, in Cooking Customers, this is a game where you're essentially running a kitchen, and on your turn, you are going to generally play two cards. You can always play one card on yourself and one card on someone or else. Or discarding those cards because you have nothing to play, because that is how the game goes. Slow down. Stop. Slow down. This is the non-bias <laughs> part. Okay. Um, there, there's some dice rolling here at the end of every turn. Uh, if you have a chef, you're going to roll dice, and then uh, depending on how many meals you get, because there are some pretty nice custom dice. Let's, let's, let's pick. Mm. What? These are... I mean, They're serviceable custom dice, and you get to put these little tokens, which represent plates, onto the tables. And I actually did think that was kind of clever how they did that. Um, and once you get enough plates on a table, you get to flip it around, and that's your tip. You get the first person to get to $20 immediately wins the game. It is mostly a take that style game, uh, because as I said, you're going to play. Yeah. With yeah. A bit of luck rolling the dice of just seeing, like, can I, can I get like as many plates as I can, in theory? All right, so um, let's just get into the game, Cooking Customers. Would you like to start first, or would you like me to? Uh, you can start. All right. Um, we played this four players, and I really hated this game. I'm not going to say I disliked it. I, I actively hated this game, and there was a lot of things that combined it. But I will say there's one group of people who I would potentially recommend considering this game, and that is if you are still in the phase where you really enjoy Munchkin... This is going to be a much that. shorter game that can give you somewhat of a similar take that feel. There's not like the leveling up nearly as much with the cool perks. And I would still honestly rather play Munchkin. But that's the nicest thing that I'm probably going to say about this game. Because moving on to the cons, I really hated so much about this game. There's it's a lot an of... easy game to learn, even though the rules could have been more clear about some things. Yes. But the main thing is that it has a take, style, has a take that style mechanic. But you can't really negate it with like anything fortunate because you can't even get points until you get like certain cards, which are limited. Like yes. Chefs. Well, let's let's just go down. Uh, I'll go down my list, and if there's anything I miss, you can fill it in. Yeah. Yes. Um, take that style card game. Obviously, not going to be for everybody. It's not one of my favorite genres, but I'm not against it if I mean, it's done well. I like well. it a lot. That's how I got into the board games. So Likewise. Like, so so we're not preconditioned to not like take that style card games. But what I hate, and I'm going to start off with. Lose a turn, 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 lose your table, lose a turn, lose a turn, lose your chef, lose a turn, lose a turn, player, lose your cook, lose a turn, I steal your chef, lose a turn, lose a turn, steal your chef, steal your chef, don't steal my chef, steal your entire table, lose a turn, lose a turn, lose a turn, lose a turn, and there's more in here. It is just you are going to lose numerous turns to those cards, but that's not the only part that you're going to lose turns because as you alluded to, getting those chef cards is random. And this is a very random game. If you start off and you have five chef cards in your hand, you're going to be in a really good position because you're always going to be able to at least play one of those on your turn, conceivably. Yeah. And so you're going to be able to roll dice and you're going to be able to put plates onto yeah. your table and have a chance to win the game as long as someone doesn't steal your chef and steal your table and steal I your mean, soul assuming but the issue with the tables is that you can get like a tables which have like you need to put eight meals it means you spend need to spend like at least like like several turns at least two of them with the most powerful chef rolling four dice you're looking realistically around three to four turns probably three to four because people are going to be playing attacks on you quite consistently on to put on the tables and they range from like eight to like nine to three and like two how many how many plates you need on the table yeah. that's what the range she's talking about there and the issue is that they're kind of randomized like it's it's a usually scale like the higher card <laughs> counts like the higher ones like for eight you'll you can get like a higher like you're expected to have like four to like eight like of tipped the issue is you can have the same amount for getting like a six, which is two more of getting like a six tips. And it's just... I don't know if you're explaining that. And yeah. like, I'll, I'll put it like this, a real world, world example that really got us into the mood for this game. Yeah. Me and Jimmy had a table that I think both of them seated four. And Jimmy flipped... I had a table that said, like, had like eight. Well, well I'm talking about yeah. me and Jimmy. Okay, I'm not talking about ahead. you. I'm talking about me and Jimmy. Fine. Me and Jimmy, we both had a table suit of four, I do believe. And yeah. when I flipped mine over, I got six bucks. And yeah. then when he flipped his over, he just randomly got three bucks. Yeah. And it was just like, he's like, oh, cool. 
This is fun. But even if you do get one of those tables, those very lucrative tables, it's going to get you a whole bunch of points. Somebody's probably going to steal it. Like, honestly, we enjoyed the game so little that there were certain points that people just kind of, like, I, I discarded a card. I was like, I, I don't even want to play this card because I don't want this game to get extended. Yeah. Like, that legitimately probably happened a couple times. Where it was just like, I don't like I could have attacked to... Jimmy because he was in the lead, but I was like, if I attack Jimmy, you still have to play this game. Yes, there was one person who wasn't enjoying the game. Alan was like, it's not terrible, guys. It's not terrible. But by the end of the game, he changed his mind. Well, the thing was like, because it's enjoyable because like, you're my friend. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, this card, he had to spend three. And like, assuming it took, it took him three turns because he kept on rolling ones. Yes, because. To be... roll to get nothing. Yeah. There's only one card like this, thankfully, but still one card's enough where you waste three turns doing nothing. Now, I will say I'm in the minority at the table where I actually thought it was kind of funny, and I, I kind of liked it. And like, we actually joked about how there funny. might be one where it would, like, skip a turn and lose that. Yeah. So I understand why they put it in, but it's annoying, and it's it just annoying. kind of compiles onto this. Like, gameplay-wise... This game is not a bad game. Like, just looking at the mechanisms, it's a standard take that game. But there's so many issues that just kind of pile up mm -hmm. that make it something I don't ever want to play again. Ever. I have no desire. It could go yeah. to ten players if you play teams. God, no. no. I, I think this goes to two players. Would you want to play this two players after this? Like, no. no. It would be nonstop attacking. Like, every yeah. single turn, there would only be one person to attack. And it's like, oh, cool. You fired my chef again. And that's the other part. So I lost quite a few turns just because I didn't have a chef. Yeah. And you can't... They really needed a mechanism in this where it was just like... If you, you would like to, with a, you start with a bad chef that can only make me roll like one die. Well, that that that. Okay, you're talking about you just always have a chef. I was just gonna say if you want to discard as many cards if you want. If you don't play any cards, you can discard as many cards as you want. Yeah. And if you decide to get this game, I would recommend trying that house rule. Let me know in the comments down below. Nobody's gonna do that. I don't. I don't think no, you... don't get this game. I I agree with don't, that. Like if, even during the Munchkin phase, like there's a lot of like early Better games you can get. Games, yeah. Like you can get like my, one of my favorite games that, like I got into like Red Dragon Inn. That's a take that card that game. That is way better than this. And you can do so much and so many more expansions for that. Like and like I don't why don't invest in this. I agree. Pound it. Yeah. Boom. That was weak as hell. What was well, that? Fine, I'll just punch you in the face. That's okay, weird. well at least then I get some emotions yeah. out of it. Cooking customers has elicited some strong emotions. All of them it's... negative from us. This is not one we can recommend no. to just about anybody. This is probably going to go into the uh, the closet. And I don't really... Because I, I think I could offer this to everybody. I could play this with like 10 more people. I don't think anybody would really want it. No. I like the artwork. I the like the theme. Really nice. I actually oh. thought the theme was funny. But that's the other issue I have with this game. The mechanisms are simple enough We're and humorous, to play. but it's about cannibalism, yeah. which is going to turn off a lot of people. And it's not just like, like you said, it's like, oh, it's not, not in your face. It's like, yeah, no, it's in your face. Yeah, it gets a couple like, of cards that are kind of in your face. There's like, like a card where it's like, there's, there's a guy where a guy shoots a chef because he doesn't want the chef to go to the other person. Yeah. Which, which I don't mind that, but yeah. if you're looking at it as a family game, you need to know that going into it. So yeah. I really have a hard time seeing who this game is for, unfortunately. It's just... Cooking yeah. customers... This is a game that I believe that we will both have forgotten about in about seven months. Yeah. But let me know in the comments below. How long do you think it'll take you to forget about this video of this game and just wipe this game completely from your memory? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you want to support the channel, consider supporting the Patreon down below or uh, click it on the subscribe button or, uh, you know, just be, click on some random stuff down there. I'm sure yeah. something good will happen. Press well, the button. Press <laughs> and as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. See you guys. So now, Lucy, I hope you meet this guy at Origins. <laughs>